Hi. I encountered something. Something interesting here. Um, about the whole swimming thing. My controls are a little wonky. <laughs> Welcome back to Primitive. And... Yeah, the controls. The thing about that is um, I've got... Primitive is a Steam game, as you might know. And Steam VR has a nice little extra program that you can get, which is OVR Advanced Settings, which allows me to do something like this. I can fly! It's a place based mover. I got myself for VR chat and it allows me to move freely around. I locked it to the X. Uh, to the y-axis so once I click the trackpad and the trigger I can move myself on the uh, y-axis up and down well it may or may not have been that uh, this is what I did for swimming maybe at least yeah that could have interfered with that so honestly I don't know how swimming really works here <laughs> I may have done it wrong anyway I've got the Bowie Woo! Ah, uh, let's head back home with whoop with our little beacon of hope. Onwards. So, what are we going to do today? Um, oh, there's so much possibilities and options. I honestly don't know where to start. Oh, the lights in the distance. Oh, it's quite wonderful. No idea how well it looks on on flat screen, but here in VR it looks amazing. It really has the feeling of coming back home. Oh! It turns out I'm still flying, that's why we're so high. I mean, okay, here I need you. Maybe I do a poll in the community tab. Um, whether or not to use this, because there are ways around it, like how to get higher naturally in-game. But in terms of hard to reach places and such... When do we want to allow the use of OVR 2K? Because it's not uh, native to the game itself. It feels... It is cheating. Let's be honest. It's absolutely cheating. So I would... Personally argue I won't use it unless we encounter a bug or something that throws us out because a bug shouldn't be in a game either, so that would be a good use case. And beside that, honestly, I don't think I want to use it too much or at all. So I like that we get more of these, although I don't honestly know what to do with them. It's good to have them. This one for the boat, because it, it's called um, Ancient Lightweight Plastic, and I do like the lightweight part. It only has a defense of 6, so it's very flimsy, but... On a mass of 0.5 kilogram for this whole block, the buoyancy on the water should be nice. Alright. Let's do this a little bit different. And connect the co- Well, not what I wanted. Yep, exactly like this. Nice, okay. Oh, it's landed. Oh, come on. Okay, maybe it's grabbing to this one, which I don't want. Okay, what I can do actually is taking the battery itself, which should be easier to connect. 
Ah, close enough. Give me a moment. Yep, that's a perfect quarter. That's the second one. And the third one. Why is there... Hmm. I don't like the little distance, but it's not the worst thing. Don't pocket it! Stop! Okay. Oh, let's put it on top. It's a little bit ugly because of uh, the missing one. Well, we're gonna get that one at some other point. Now, where did I put the light? Right here. Okay, we've got that light. Wonderful. Which means even quicker charging. Oh, I like it. Okay. So, next up on our to do list would be to gain more drones. And for that, uh, wait, this is the one I want, the tungsten one. We do need a few things first a method of attacking the drones, a shield, and a ramp. That shouldn't be a problem, I guess. Anything in here anymore? Nope. And the drones I want because I want a new card. This time, though, as we seem to have advanced in our gameplay a little bit. An advanced card. A hover card. I don't know if it works. That's gonna be the... Oops. That's gonna be the experiment there. But if it does, it's gonna be funny. So, which tree we're using for for the ramp? Doesn't really matter too much, so we can as well use this one. Hello. Whoop. And we do need two small sheets. Nothing too fancy. One for one to go in, one to go out. Alright, let's take this and turn back home. Uh, I should have taken the plastic with me to put it there. Oh well. And we can always retrieve the... Uh, the sur <laughs> I call it surfboard. It's not really a surfboard, but... It's funny. And maybe make a make a better pedal next time that doesn't just turn into pieces on every occasion. All right, we've got more rubber, which I want to half for reasons. Okay, now we've got two pieces, and the reason is because where is here? If you remember, we've got some sulfur. This is our torch material, which I should start using around. I mean, we've got the lights, but... Uh, maybe if I connect to a nearby endless sulfur pit, like the one over there. So we're kind of expanding into this direction over there. So if you combine these two... Wow, the rubber turn. Well, the rubber turns rubber, yes. The raw rubber turns into, well, this here, which is funny. Boink, 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 boink. <laughs> the first thing I think about when I see this is uh, something along the lines of, of something sporty, like a ball game. Uh, this piece might not be big enough to demonstrate it, but Oops, it's not just that it alone jumps 
Yeah. We're jumping on it as well. We've got a trampoline. So if you gather enough rubber and make a plane of it, <laughs> you've got a trampoline going. So this is something we can work with in our little collection of materials. And the rest I can do. Boink. Make repair material from. What? All right. So, a few things that might be funny to do are. I want another tree. Because we've. We've got the ramps, but. Actually, wait, let me just get the lock we felled. I don't think I need much more than that. Uh, again, I should have taken the... the lightweight plastic with me. I'm always forgetting about that. Because instead of um, destroying the lasers, we can cover them up with... No, wait, wood burns. Uh, let me take the log anyway, and then think about another material we can use. Maybe iron? We do need a few iron sh uh, sheets for that, but that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, yeah, maybe wood is a bad idea for laser, but maybe. Maybe the alloy is not a bad idea. Wait. So if we turn this into into sheets, how do I go about it? Oh, it's two parts already. Wonderful. Oh, that's not a tungsten blade. Wait, it's not a tungsten blade, so it might not be able to... Okay, the one thing I would need a precision cutter for. I can't use my precision cutter. <sighs> I know you're disappointed, but I never use them anyway. <laughs> I, I'm not so precise in this game. Sometimes you just want to get things done. Honestly, being precise is not too, too hard. And we're not in the realm of machinery yet. So in terms of reasons to be precise, we don't have too, too many. Also, let's do just one cage. The other three we can fight and one we capture. How about it? Come. I need to grab it properly. Oops. Wonderful. I don't know what I will need a laser for. The problem with lasers, as interesting as they are, they shoot at me. Nothing else. Though they do sh shoot me through everything. So wait, if you, for example, have a laser shooting at me and then you have a system of one and two diagonal silver plates that can reflect lasers, well, would I be able to actually have a cool laser gun myself? 
Hmm. Hmm. This might work. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, that works. I just have to put them evenly, like this, and like this. Perfect. That works out. Not on the bottom, it seems, but with everything else. And now to cap it off. Okay, and the last one is precise. Oh, look at this. Nice. Yep, we've got a laser cage. All right. So, we have the ramps, we have the laser cage. Um yeah, let's let's take a small connector. So this way I don't accidentally This way I don't accidentally disconnect um one one of the planes from the others. Alright. So next up would be this is my shield. Do I need a bigger shield? I don't think I need a bigger shield. I think this is enough. Although I can make a bigger shield. We do have the materials to... Although... I just take this plate. Connect it to this plate. And we've got a bigger shield. Ladies and gentlemen, big shield. Do I have something that I can use as a fancy handle? <laughs> the fanciest of handles. It's not too heavy. It's a little bit heavy, especially for walking. But once in place, I should be able to deal with um, with the lasers. Right. So we've got the shield as well. So the only thing missing is a weapon. I could take the axe for that. As I would need it to breach the walls anyway, like we did here. Well, all right then. So we just need a good cage. That's not a cage, that's one of the advanced ones, and I I just want the cage thing. As I think it's easier to deal with the small lasers than the big ones. Oh nah, the the problem is the big ones are um what is it? Homing. And uh, I do want to capture one of the lasers to turn into a rifle later, possibly. Well, not in this direction, apparently. And if you're worried about the shield obscuring half your view here, well, not half, but a lot, same here, I can't really look around for the cage. And I do want one that is close by, so we don't have to walk too much. So we can do that little bit of extra walking right now. No 
we have anything around the spawn here? It doesn't appear so. Uh, right around here would be really nice. Hi, slime. Okay, right around here would be wonderful. Otherwise, we would have turned... We would have to turn to where the yellow slime farm is. Which, honestly, I can do. It's not that far away, is it? Yeah, let's have a small walk to the yellow farm. It's not too bad. This area, thankfully, is quite peaceful. Nothing against that. Hmm. The trees themselves don't really show the line I want to show. So maybe I would make a fence or something. Yeah, a fence would be nice. But that's... Uh, I don't know with decoration, because I would do want to advance this. And decorating always feels like a strong pause on the whole thing. But then again, it's part of the game. Okay, there's an advanced spawner over there. Which we don't want. This is a scary part, because here we could have yellow spawns. Ooh. There's, there's one of the cage spawners, and it's not too far away. Though it's not the closest one either. But then again, it's the closest I can see. Decisions, decisions. Because this whole way is where slimes could spawn. And building anything here is dangerous on its own. Okay, there we got windmills. Nothing else. There... There's a spawner? On top of the hill? Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna check that out quickly. And this is a snow. Ah! It's too steep to go. We have to go here and then up. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, perfect! Oh, my. Oh, this is dreamy. Okay, I love this. And that's where we got the big base. And a potential new location for the yellow slime uh, farm. Right next to the big bay. Oh god, this is perfect. I love it. So, and right here we've got the sulfur spawner. And how far is it from, from where we are? Over the hill? You can kind of see the last bit of sand from there. Also, you see that construct over there above my fist? That's another one of those um, of those ancient ruins. The walls don't really spawn in right now, so you can only see the ground. Hmm. If we start building there and there, if we can conquer them somehow, we will start to need something like either a boat or a good land vehicle, because now we're traversing a lot. Okay, first things first. We're gonna take the cage. In one hand, and the shield in the other hand, and take care of the back one. All right, 
as long as the suicide drone doesn't. Um. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, sneaky. That one got behind me. Okay. Taking both. One I'm throwing inside and the other one. Okay, come on. The one here. Maybe I should first have done the lasers. Ow. They were behind me. Actually, why didn't... Ow, that was my own shield. I'm gonna pick it up later. <laughs> why didn't I activate this? I mean, I don't want to save scum or anything, but... How do I? Do I hold it? Do I click it? How does it work? I can never remember what I did. Come on, save my point. Why don't you? Oh, come on! <laughs> eh? Can anyone tell me what I'm doing wrong here? Save for me! <laughs> Uh, last time I interacted with them? Hmm? Excuse me, what? So, what happens if you disconnect one of them? Uh oh. So, who of you is thinking catapults? Or cannons, or whatever. Uh, no, please go back up. Please go back up. I beg of you. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Um. <sighs> you know what? I didn't want this, but... The wonderful... Yep. Yeah, Japanese creator... Uh, Kurosaki was uh, put out a new video about how to, I would argue, misuse bearings to transport heavy stuff. And I might want to, I might want to borrow that idea. Because I'm curious in terms of the respawn points themselves, less of the um, bearings, because if this, if we move, if we could activate it somehow, please. Did we destroy it? Did I destroy it? You did nothing. You're, you're still pure of heart. You're okay. You're safe. I destroyed it. But it doesn't, does it not work anymore? Is this how it goes? Uh, oh, well. That means I have to be careful. We don't have any way to regain health here. <sighs> oh! What are you doing there? No, don't holster it. <laughs> okay, tries to shoot down. <laughs> Thankfully, I can see the number. One. I've got one of them. Uh, let's go with the overload method. What I mean is, um, I think I said that before, they don't respawn when there are too many in the area. And it doesn't count the lasers, it counts the thingies. Actually, 
Let's get rid of the X here. Let's turn this one around. Oh, okay, I shouldn't jump with my shield. Could you, could you come down? Ooh, wow, you're coming down. All right. Ah, uh, nuts too. Follow me. Come on. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, come on, my own shield. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> okay, let's first collect six of them. Okay, come to me. Oh. Come to me and you will see. Um... Would you be surprised if I told you that I didn't think that far? <laughs> okay, this is a good way to deal with it. Okay, two of six. Charge! Oh, it's too high. Okay, come down. Come down. Come here. Come close. I won't hurt you. Wonderful. Halfway done. Okay. Next up, where's the X? There it is. As the next one spawns, we should get rid of at least one of the lasers. There's a drone. Come to me. Yeah, yeah, come here. Ow, what hit me? Okay, now we're doing the same again. Okay, it's down. Up. Oh, I can take it. Come down. Come on. Be a nice drone. Ah, uh, why do you go up? Oh, perfect. Ah, uh, and it get, went up. Why? Uh oh, it's gonna. Oh. Ah. <sighs> I know you like to have your distance, but could you please not? Bam ba da bam 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 ba. Ah, sure. <laughs> oh, finally. Oh, I hate you. Um, I need to turn it around. Uh oh, <laughs> that's new. Uh, whatever, I gonna, I'm gonna get you later. Come on! Okay, that's it. Could you please just vanish? I'm doing damage. Okay. Now about you without a clunky shield. Come to me. Come here. You're still behaving the same, laser or not. So, so yank. Oh, God. Ugh. What if I told you that it's summer around here and maybe around, I would say, at this time of day, uh, 28 Celsius. Uh, I am dying right now just to get them. 
Uh, episode's going on for half an hour, so we got a quarter still left. And we're doing the same. We're getting rid of one of the lasers. And getting a drone over here. Let's get the other drone as well. Uh, the other laser as well, so we only have to care about the drones. Come with me. Oh, two spawned. That's not good. Okay, they stay there. Can I get only one of them? Come on, only one of you. Oh. There he goes. Oh, what a good specimen. Stay, stay, stay. You won't come down, will you? Oh, come on. <laughs> the shield is just bouncing into view again and again. That's funny. Oh, I can't be quicker thanks to the shield. Mmm, so close. Ah, oh, thank God. This wasn't as complicated as the last one. Ah, oh, it got me with the last shot. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. So that's our last one. Um. So, now let's get them into range. Hopefully without triggering anything that can hurt us. So, you there, you there, you there, you there, you there. That's close enough. Oh, wonderful. And we blocked the spawning. Now we've got all the time in the world. In theory, watch them spawn, attack me, and absolutely terrify me. <laughs> so, one ramp in. I mean, we can cut in a door like we did on the other base. So, this one will stay a spawner. If we need more heat generators, we can go for other spawners, but this one is... Ooh, this one is free to experiment with now. Okay. So, in theory, it's enough if we have five of them around the perimeter to prevent any spawns, and one of them is movable as a turn on turn off mechanism. Three, four, five. All right. So, first of all, uh, the constant shooting sounds really getting to me okay maybe this there I hope the drone won't trigger I shouldn't be too close is this thing big enough I should work with the lighter material Although, I, I don't really need to work with any material. I need to work with sheets now. In that case, let's just do the same as we did on the other side and cut one piece out. Um, 
right here, just like on the other side. And it's two pieces, wonderful. Oh, okay, it's getting... Ah, we're, we're getting it. Perfect. Now we have an easy way in. Now this looks more like a door, I would argue. Okay, so... The idea. I need to cut it up more. Mm, the long pieces are not too bad, but they are too long. Actually, let's take a slice out of it. It's two pieces. It's two pieces already. Okay. Whoops. We have to jump at the beginning. So I'm building the usual uh, automatic drone farm. So this is nothing too new, nothing too exciting. Just something that works. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> that's on a perfect height! Oh, and so close to being the perfect width as well. I mean, we can cut it to the perfect width. If I'm precise enough. Let's, let's get this out of here. Okay. So we don't have the ball in our view all the time around. Oh, that could be perfect. Let's see. Whoops. And thanks to the repair material we got last episode, I'm not too scared. Whoops. About um, stuff getting damaged. Okay, it's flushed here and it's. Ah, oh, perfect! Oh my god, I love it. Wonderful. Oh, just needs to... I want it in the bottom here. Oh, perfect. Oh. Yes. Next up. Um, what did I do? I, I did the top, right? I just took a top piece. So let's go in for another two. I'm concentrating here. Oh. Nice. Okay, that's one. Oh, they're pretty equal. This is 189 and this is 189. Oh! Who needs a precision cutter if you're the precision cutter? <laughs> Alrighty. So this one can go over at the back, so we don't need to refit this one. Oops. Well, it's flush here. It's not perfect here, but it looks pretty fine. I mean, it's a little bit of detail. So who's to judge here? Um, 
This one. Oh, wait, it can actually go back a little bit more. Wait. Ah. Uh, it's a little clunky. This works. Ah, uh, it looks over, but uh, it could be worse, right? So, at least we've got the front side perfect here. Now, for the front, I don't actually... Uh, I don't actually know what I want to do here. Ah! Uh, why is it so hard? Uh, <laughs> Okay, come on. You can do. Ah! Do you see the screen fading, Gray? What was that? <sighs> okay, just ignore the seam. Okay, I I don't want to stay here, whole day. Now, how does this thing work? Once we get rid of one of them, like put them on the tree or on the hill or whatever is far enough away, so it's only uh, five of them, one is still on the other side of the wall. Um, another one will spawn in here, but it won't be able to go anywhere if all of the walls, well, if all of the sides have walls. So it can only like hover around in this uh, space. And if we have something that goes, whoops, over here, uh, as soon as it goes uh, too high, it will be destroyed. And we can gather its, its bearing. The problem is I should go back because I do need at least one bearing for this. I do want two of them. And I do wonder how... Mm. Let's, let's get a few materials up first. So, I want at least one other sheet for the front. However, I want to use that. Okay, it's a little bit thicker, but that's all right. It's not messing with the symmetry here. And then I do want a piece that is about this wide. Wonderful. Oops. Oh. That's what I want. I mean, I have something similar already, but... Oh, well. So, this goes... Here. And on here, we do want a bearing. Now, I'm gonna go back, ironically, and get, our, and get us some bearings. Oh, it's close to one hour. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna end the episode here. We conquered yet another spawner. And it's going well so far. We are quite a little bit more prepared this time. And uh, if only I had a better way to snatch them out of the air. But hopefully that... Oh, it wasn't the last time around. Though, we do have... With a bearing spawner, we don't really need to conserve any more drones, so we can just destroy them. I mean, as, as soon as I go uh, at a wall with, with my axe, I, I can simply go in. <laughs> Not having to fear the lasers or anything. But it worked, so... However we go about it next time, we're gonna start here again with the bearings. And I see you then. Bye! I'm on my way to get them now. 
Web 